The Warwick Institute of Engagement's mission is to support staff and students at Warwick to engage with the wider world. The Institute helps current staff and students to develop ongoing collaborative relationships with local, national and international partners, groups or organisations. One of the ways we do this is through the Collaboration and Co-Production Fund. Some of the projects we've funded are presented in this film. So, why collaborate? Our collab project has been called Heart of the Heart, and we're particularly interested in, in liaising with a poet to engage the local, national, and indeed international communities about heart disease, particularly in young people. So we've taken this technique of working in schools, local communities, and then get scientists in to explain the science. And we've moved forward with this to look at water pollution as another subject, and then further to look at gardening and uh, aspects of the Green Revolution. And we started the project off by thinking about our own staff and we called this project InReach. So quite often scientists are siloed and they don't talk to each other. So one way we thought we would do this is actually create a book of poems about 12 of the scientists where the scientists had no editorial control. And we produced a short film, we produced a series of poems and a project called Reticulum was born. Our collaboration co-production funded project is um, a collaboration between Kenish Dance and my laboratory. And the idea here was to use dance as a medium to communicate concepts of cell science and how we understand the motion of individual cells in order to understand how the body works. So what each part I brought into this project was pretty clear in our collaboration. It was the dance part and the, and the movers, the dancers that came from Keisha with her company and her knowledge of how to interpret images and movies into choreography and I brought in the information of how cells move on a microscopic scale and how we can actually understand and study things in, in living objects. The Warwick Institute of Engagement has been central to us delivering this work. It's been up to me of course to drive the project and think about what we should encompass and the poet to induce the creativity in the event but actually where WIE has been fantastic is giving us ideas of people and places to deliver this. Without the initial funding from the WIE, we wouldn't have been able to start this collaboration. And apart from not only the monetary support, also the technical support in providing space for the rehearsals was very important and crucial. This allowed the dancers to come on campus, see where we are doing our work, and then engage in, in direct conversation. That collaboration really helped us to share our strengths and generate something entirely new. Within the project, there's been a number of beneficiaries uh, that have come out of this. The first of all is my colleagues, the scientists. We've interacted with the community, we've expanded knowledge of certain conditions. So I think my scientists, colleagues, are beginning becoming aware of, of what we've done. For Sue the poet, her eyes, I guess, have been opened. One of, the, one of my favorite phrase, phrases she uses, I tell her some story, is just the word, wow, because Biology is amazing. So for Sue to see how incredible this subject is and for my colleagues to remember their kind of roots of their subject and why we all became biologists has been fantastic. So if you're thinking of making a proposal to the Collaboration and Co-Production Fund, can't recommend it highly enough.